Hello YouTube Nation, this is Chris, and this is going to be the 8th time I'm trying to upload this because two problems were by flatmates, two problems were by me fucking with YouTube. The other two times were YouTube fucking with me, and the other two were because this is the first time using Windows Media Maker to get this to fucking run because my, win cause my web camera saves in a weird ass format because with YouTube fucking with me, they decided that my AVI save file doesn't exist in the world so I couldn't even upload it and I can't find a program to do it so I was like I've got Windows Media Maker, let's try that and it seems to be working so far because I did upload a video but being a dumbass that I am the microphone was on mute my camera face plant, fuck my life anyway, let's get straight into the video okay, as the title is going to suggest ceilings and mice you're wondering what do these two things have in common? Let's give you out the suspense, shall we? That's what I've had to deal with since I've been here. And those are only two out of the many problems I've had. So, you obviously know that ceilings are one or two of them. Let's think what else we had. The windows. Mine are covered in fucking cellophane. Let's have a look, shall we? Sorry, not cellophane. Cling film. Look at that. Yeah? Cling film. On the windows. And, yeah, I don't see why I should have to deal with this. Cling film on windows because it stops the draft getting in? It's ridiculous, you know? I mean, winter, I couldn't go in my room without wearing two layers. Not even just one, two. Ridiculous. And, um, yeah, it was... This has been ridiculous. Heating's always packing in. Always. Not too much problem now we're in summer. But, anyway, on to the main task at hand. So... The other thinking ceilings? What could he mean by ceilings? What I mean by ceilings, my friends, is that just below me, just below, stomp, 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 we have the kitchen. And what do we have in any kitchen? We have food and we have fridges and cookers and magic pixie fairies who protect us from the monsters in our cellar. But anyway, the ceiling in the kitchen was being an absolute tit. I mean, when we first moved in it was already coming away, but it looked superficial. Even they said it was superficial, and we're not landlords. And we're like, okay, fair enough. <laughs> but then, just a couple of days ago, a little piece fell on, only a little piece, nothing to worry about. I was like, <laughs> I bet you anything, the rest of it will fall down. <laughs> I think I fucking jinxed it, didn't I? Because I went to bed, 7 o'clock, got up. <laughs> Guess what? I heard, I heard a BOOM 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 BOOM! I was like, holy shit. But I thought it was a dream to be fair, so I was like, <sighs> back to sleep. But woke up in the morning, in the Saturday afternoon, and my mate Lee had heard it as well. And we like, I went downstairs first, because I was the first one to get up, went downstairs. And what did I see? I saw a massive amount of plaster and wood all over the floor, just like, boom, on the floor. And I was like, holy fuck. Really? This is what I'm with? I just burst out into fucking laughter. I was like, <laughs> Oh my god, this is shit. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So I went up, told Lee, and he uh, broke it down. His reaction was the same as mine. Um, fucking landed, lord, person, guy, creature, manager, woman. It was a woman. Manager, woman. She was like, what do you want us to do? I was like, fucking fix it. And they're like, well, we can't come over and fix it because the man, because the uh, maintenance guy's found his brand. I'm like, what maintenance man for the entire fucking... They've got like 200 houses and I hardly think they've got one maintenance man. It was bullshit. I know it was a Saturday, but come on. Ceiling collapsing above my room and the shower. I'll show you what I mean actually by shower. Okay. This is my room, yeah? This is all mine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. But just behind Mr. Gerald Butler there, that little indent, that, my friends, is where the shower is. And that's where the massive fucking great big shit is, yeah? where the crack is, just beneath that block. And obviously, I'm a bit worried, because that's where I am. Because I'm in this room, and if that comes apart, it's going to weaken the structural integrity of everything else. I'm like, shit. And it fucking pissed me off that they didn't come round. I mean, oh my god. So aggravating. But yeah, ceiling collapsing. Thankfully, they, someone came around and fixed it, which I'm very, very thankful for, because it was doing me head in. Looked like a bomb site down there. And they cleaned it up too, which is good. But... It took them long enough, and we're pissed off as it is. We're furious with them. Especially me, fucking... If I saw that on my phone, I'd just Anyway, and then we've also had another problem with 
fucking rodents. Yeah. Rodents. Last year, in from October till January, we had a mice infestation. It was not just it wasn't just a couple of mice, that's why I say infestation. Because I single handedly killed twenty in my room. That's right. Twenty. <laughs> oh yes. Free with javelin attack. Javelin attack, go! Wow. That was quite funny. Well I thought it was anyway. But again, that was just me. And um, yeah. So basically it took them three weeks to um, get a pest control guy around to fucking sort it out. And I thought that was a long time because we had mice and they fucking took their time about it. And then the pest control guy took down some poison a five weeks. They just seemed to get in more and more. So in the end I was just like, fuck it. So I bought myself some cheap ass little snappy jokes you see in the movies where the mouse goes like, <laughs> bang! Well, like in the movies, I actually killed the mice. Which I did. First night I dropped them down, went to bed, used Kit Kat's bait. They, those fuckers love that stuff. Killed them, and five in the first night. And then throughout the following couple of weeks, 15 obviously. And then three, and then obviously I killed 23 because I got three with this. What? So there was 23 mice. So, fun times. <laughs> so that pissed me off as well, having mice in your own house. And especially when you're sleeping, you hear them scuttling around on your floor. Freaks the shit out of you, especially when you're playing a game and you just look down by your feet. And it's just like a mice there, it's like, whoa! Get the fuck out of my room, bitch! Don't have a proper cap in your ass! But no, nah, it's not good. No, 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 no. Not good at all. But yeah. So yeah, I'm a bit pissed off, as you can tell. And yes, I'm going to be ranting about a lot more things in the future. I've got drinking routes to go on about how the pros and cons of drinking. I mean, you can have a really fucking good time, don't get me wrong. But you can also have the worst times if you play, play it wrong. And, I mean, I've been there, I've played it good, I've played it bad. And, yeah, yeah. Tell you later. <laughs> Tell you later, like procrastinator. Do it later, be fine. And, uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. It's going on to seven minutes, past seven minutes now, Mark. So I'm going to say I'm going to learn about more things, and I'm also going to go on about other things as well as ranting. So, yes, so I'm going to say peace out, and I'll speak to you guys later.